Welcome to the Brunel Business School MBA Student Experience Webinar today. My name is Katie Moore and I work in the Recruitment and Marketing Office for the Business School and will be your host this morning. In today's webinar we have three, uh, two MBA students from the Business School here to talk to you about their experiences as a student at Brunel University. We have Chloe and we have Rajan. Um, Chloe started in September yes. and Rajan started back in uh, this January. So um, thank you both for coming along today and joining us. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Katie. Okay, so if any of our listeners have any questions, please do type them in and we will answer them either as we go along or at the end. Alternatively, if you'd prefer to email us um, after the webinar or telephone us, then we'd be happy to answer your questions that way. So now, now over to Chloe and Rajan. So, Chloe. Yes. You've nearly finished the MBA as you started last September. Yes. Can you tell us what um, you were doing before you joined the MBA, what your job involved, and how you found the MBA? Okay. Uh, before I come to London, I uh, work in the insurance company, and quite long time, and not quite long time, six years to seven years, I work in two different companies. One is uh, Auto, auto insurance company, another one is a life insurance company. It's quite uh, fabulous, I think, working in this company because both two are a big company and you meet different people. Mm, I work in there uh, initially, it's just a, a very common style when I graduate. I work hard and uh, after five years I work in the board office to do some of the um, merger acquisition. And after this company, I joined the life insurance company to do the PR and uh, strategic. So that uh, gave me a lot of experience to how to handle different things. Mm, that's kind of my before MBA, the, my career track. Okay. Um, so are there any modules that you've studied on the MBA program that you feel have helped uh, or will help you in your future career plans, or are there any um, modules that you've not really liked as such, or uh, have you changed your career mind? Oh, okay, you want to do? I, got, I got your idea. Actually, the idea module, they give us very well, because for the last semester we got the international business strategic, uh, strategy and uh, leadership, this kind of a module. I think for me, the most uh, spotted my knowledge is uh, international business. Because now the China and the, uh, try to enlarge their business all over the world. So when I study this, I find there's a lot of case to write about China, Chinese company, Chinese uh, industry, and also uh, Indian industry as well, because these two big countries to gradually to go up. So when I learn this, I can co uh, co cohort with my uh, working parents how to handle the international business with the uh, uh, international company. So this one is quite helpful. And also another one this semester in the supply chain. This supply chain is uh, um, to teach us how to, to uh, analyze the different process of the, the um, uh, working and you can say the, what's wrong with this uh, tiny process because even the one, one run, uh, one tiny run, you can that's kind of affect the whole uh, company, uh, a whole business. So mm, that's very helpful for me. Mm. Okay, thank you. And um, Rajan, okay, so um, What's about you? What, what, where are you from? What have you done in your um, career and uh, how have you found the MBA program? You started in January, didn't you? Yep, uh, I started in January and before that uh, I was working as an IT project manager back in India and uh, my background is in uh, IT as well as in supply chain. So after working for almost eight years uh, uh, I wanted to, you know, uh, grew up the ladder, so I thought of doing MBA. And uh, most of my years, I have worked with international clients, so I thought of doing it uh, abroad. And UK seems to be the best choice for me. Uh, the the journey of you know selecting MBA was very really interesting. I thought though 
it would be an easier task after eight years of experience, but I, I could feel it, it wasn't that easy. So you have to make a lot of decisions and choices. Uh, I took help of uh, external education counselor and uh, uh, from there I, I got to know about Prunam. And I must say that in back in India, every education counselor Prunam, they put up as the number one if we have to go to UK. Uh, that's why I started interacting with you and uh, I got to know more about Prunel and finally I made up my mind to come to Brunel to do my MBA. Okay. Chloe, did you find that the same as Rajan, that the MBA decision journey was quite a, a difficult one, more, more so than you would have perhaps realised at the beginning? Yes. Uh, for me, it's a little bit different because uh, when I'm in China, I joined the Chinese MBA course as part-time, not the full-time. Initially, I was think that it's quite easy because I already know something, know some knowledge about MBA, the operation, the uh, strategic and finance, something like that. But when I joined here, I found that it's a totally different uh, education system. Here, the uh, professor and doctor would like you to do some group, uh, group work, and that's kind of teamwork. And also, the, you're learning the learning skill is still different. So um, I found some difficult things in this uh, first semester. Also, our MBA course is quite intense. Uh, last semester, we are stuck from the Monday to Saturday, nearly the, from 9 to 6. After that, we still got a lot of homework and teamwork and prepare the next day's work. So that's uh, frustrating, but it's very enjoy. Uh, today, when I um, um, saw some, uh, when I to memory some the last year, the course, the the course and study with uh, my classmates, that's very enjoyable. I think it's a very good experience for me to um, use that certain time to earn some knowledge. Now I'm used to to study, to how to study in the UK and in MBA schools. I think the very good appearance if you are join this journey, you will get more about the good stuff. Okay, thank you. Um, so with our MBA program, we have the Leadership Masterclass series. How have you found that in terms of, um, on, top, on, on top of the actual modules that you've had to study? What have you thought of the Leadership Masterclass series? Is that going to help you when you yeah. graduate and go back into the employment market? Mm -hmm. uh, for leadership, oh, I remember we do a uh, team work. It's about the, um, the LinkedIn. We do the teamwork. I, our teamwork, the, the person is a LinkedIn, Jack Weiner. Uh, this guy, before I joined this group, I didn't notice him. I don't know the Jeff Weiner is a LinkedIn the CEO. But when we start to learn that, to analyze this uh, uh, character of this guy, and uh, I learned some things about the leadership. Um, leadership uh, depends on you how to sit, you say to this leadership. You got different companies, they got different leader, but still we can to say there's a in, there are some common in their itself, uh, themselves, like the straightforward and care of the, their staff. And uh, probably some people are very aggressive, but aggressive is a good characteristic for the business, especially for the just started business. So I learned something, and uh, I also just thinking about myself, to combine my, my characteristics. So, and um, I gained something how to avoid the mistake in the future career. So that's helpful, still helpful for me. And what's mm. your thoughts, Rajan? Uh, uh, I would say it, 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 is, it is wonderful having it as part of your curriculum because I felt, you know, it would be very catnic sort of MBA, but leadership and uh, career development program adds a variety to it. So it just not, um, uh, fo it, it focuses on your personal development as a leader and also takes care of your career development roadmap. So I have been working very close with uh, Helen from uh, CTP department and I had one-to-one -one, uh, sessions with her which have been very useful in uh, doing an introspection, what are my uh, strengths and weaknesses. And then she uh, helped me how to overcome those weak points and what is actually required by UK market because as an international student 
uh, at times we fail to understand what is actual the requirement of international market. From that perspective, uh, these programs uh, are wonderfully designed and they are, uh, uh, you know, it, it's, it's the value that is being delivered by Brunel MBA over, over the curriculum, which is fantastic in itself. So yeah, I, I feel that's really helpful uh, uh, as an international student. Okay, thanks. So Chloe, um, have you met with our careers consultant Helen much over the last yes, year? Yes, Helen is a nice lady and she helped me a lot to do the um, got my career, how to write the CV and how to write the cover letter and how to find the job chance. Because uh, as an international student, uh, language is actually the first barrier and also writing. Even you know that you got a uh, working parents, uh, maybe you got very good working parents, but when you are trying to find a job here or try to find a uh, chance in a new place, new city, new country, you are still find the, it's very difficult to how to how to find the um, purple place or purple company. And Helen gave us a lecture work, a workshop to guide us how to how to write the CV, use a standard standard form, and she also to uh, sometimes to give us some suggestion to improve ourselves, how to practice, how to connect with the company, how to find the internship on internet, matter internet, or social social network, or the alumni night, and uh, Helen is very good good for us, and she very helpful for us to to enlarge our career. Mm. Okay, well we've got a question here from one of our viewers, um, one of our listeners here, and it's to do with um, fitting in the actual studies, and let me just see what they're actually saying here. Um, what about your daily schedules? Um, do you get much time to, um, to do an actual reading and discussions between each other? Uh, I, I guess the, the schedule is uh, flexible enough. It, it gives you time for uh, self-study. So uh, to give you an idea, our classes generally starts around uh, uh, half past eight in the morning and ends up uh, around half past two. Uh, and in between, we get uh, sufficient breaks. We get time to do uh, group discussions. So it's it's not that uh, the whole session would be theoretical. It would be it would start with some theory from the professors, and then we'll work on real world problems uh, into groups. We'll get time to uh, brainstorm on those issues and then to present back to the whole uh, class of students. So yeah, it's very thoughtful uh, and uh, designed uh, as such, and you get uh, ample of time afterwards uh, once your class is over. So to start with, I mean, when I joined in January, because we worked with September group also. So it, it is seven days a week to start with me for me because of leadership and master classes uh, going uh, over the weekend. But still, uh, even having a family, I didn't feel that pressure onto me. It's still very relaxed and I get a uh, lot of time to do other things actually. Yes, Roger, even you got family, you bring your family here, but you still do very well. And he's very smart, especially for the finance part and the, the IT skill help us. Because me and Roger are in the same group, so our groups do the very beautiful programs. It depends on the matter. <laughs> <laughs> and um, for me, I think the uh, best thing for our is uh, we study the theory, and uh, the professor and doctor also give us time to as a group to talk about the theory. That's very very practical thing. So um, we are we are do the theory, we are practice, and make us to memory the theory very very well. Because even you study some academic things, but for MBA students, we prefer to practice. So this is a big chance for us to practice also. Okay. And um, one of the other students have asked, how many modules do you actually study? So uh, in, in our current, uh, we have four four modules. Chloe uh, uh, can tell more about September. That's still uh, <laughs> yes. Actually, we are got eight modules. The first semester we study a uh, focus on the four main module, and the second semester also the four main module. But we got a lot of workshop 
is kind of related to the, our main module, just like the consultancy and the uh, uh, social responsibility and also the uh, career and the hiring, something like that. So even eight module, but for me, I think it's more than eight module, probably 16 more than I think. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, we can get that information on Brunel website. So there are seven uh, main modules and one is the elective one, depending upon what specialization you are going for. So if it is for general management, as we both are, then there's one elective. But if you are going for healthcare or uh, aviation as your specialization, then there, there are two electives that are actually considered as uh, uh, main modules for them into a aviation and healthcare. Okay, and um, how a question from myself actually? How have you two found it by starting the course at different times? So, Chloe, you started in September. Yes. Come January, you've obviously made friends and got to know the students that you started with in September. Yes. And also maybe the ones that was started the previous January. How did you find it when it got to January and there were several new students? And likewise, Rajan, how did you feel joining where there was already friends? Did you gel together fairly soon, or did the the dis business discussions help throw you together? Okay, okay. Roger, would you mind to use that first because you are born born in January, and um, you guys are kind of new want to uh, join this group. How do you feel? You still feel like the new one? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a wonderful experience. Uh, so I'll say that uh, when we joined, we got a three-day workshop to begin with where uh, that given us uh, an opportunity to understand other fellow uh, MBA students, which was quite wonderful before actually going on to the course. So once that over uh, and we started with the new week on Monday, I find few more faces around and actually they were the new ones I met uh, and I was, uh, okay, we got some more company over there. Later on I feel uh, that's, uh, uh, that adds value to you because um, you get a chance to meet a lot of students from different backgrounds and different culture. So it's, it's just not a group of 20, but as you said, I will again have a chance to uh, work with students coming in September. So it's actually I'm working with three different groups, learning from them. As one of our professors says, it's the room which is uh, the most uh, brilliant aspect of this MBA. So yeah, I really like this idea. It's still a small class, enough to grasp uh, and in track, but again, it gets, adds that variety to it. And I feel if in one sem you're bored with somebody, you still got the opportunity to make friends in uh, upcoming groups. Yes, uh, actually, I'm looking forward to you guys to join us because uh, with September students, we already know each other after the one semester is still working with each other. No other one's character. So when we heard uh, from the MBA office this uh, January, still the 17 students to join us, I felt so excited because I know that so there are lots of fresh ideas, fresh plan to join our group, and we can learn each other. I'm looking forward from the different people, different students from the diversified industry. Uh, because I'm the person kind of, so I, I like making friends with each other. I like to learn from each other. So when they go to just uh, the first, I still remember the first day you guys to join us, and the us must buy it so so well, and the, the people's talking, chatting, where you're from, why you come here, uh, have you ever been working in this company, that company, that day so excited, and uh, from bottom of my heart, I truly uh, to enjoy to working with you guys to join your students. And uh, I believe another uh, aspect of it is that you already have some experienced students who have gone through the MBA course. So they, they could help you out with a lot of your concerns and issues and help you to settle down your nerves. So you don't have to rush to academic office or to uh, your uh, professors. Again, they are very supportive, but you get kind of informal uh, support from your previous group. Do, do you get a chance to socialize together as a group? Do you, I mean, the, the MBA schedule is quite busy, like all MBAs, but um, I know f I've seen photos of you all out together up in London or elsewhere, and there's uh, evening meals, get-togethers. So you obviously do get a chance. How do, how do you fit that in, and is it, 
Have you got a lot of memories to take away with you, with, away with you when you leave? Yes. Uh, uh, I do remember the last year. Last year we all went to the store here in Jeff Pass. And uh, that's quite good here because uh, for me it's another driving car here to to stay some countryside, just uh, like the very natural uh, environment here. So everyone excited that day. Because only the our our group is uh, only two or two or three students from the local the UK. Others from all over the world, Malaysia, Indonesia, and uh, Vietnam, the China, and uh, some more else. So we joined theirs. We are um, after I remember after the uh, socialize, uh, we know each other much better. So um, this kind of the connection. Uh, happened to us. Uh, I enjoy that very much. And also, um, for this semester, we are after the examination, I do remember that day. Everyone is just released because after the uh, uh, examination, I don't want to relax and uh, we go to the bar to talk, talk our life, talk our work, and talk the future, and talk the, um, the future, where, where are we going? and which company you are looking forward, and probably some girlfriend, boyfriend like that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's quite fun. Yeah, again, uh, again, MBA school and international department uh, uh, takes these things seriously and they do organize uh, events for us. In fact, international department, they organize regular monthly visits to different places. I remember uh, going to Cambridge, Britain, and all those places. So I haven't gone because of my family, uh, but uh, if you've got time, if you're a bachelor, yes, these are wonderful opportunities to explore the uh, UK. And I have a lot of my MBA uh, colleagues that have gone to Amsterdam, Paris, and other places around the UK. Oh, wow. So fitting quite a lot then, going to yeah, the UK. Yeah, it, it seems <laughs> like it is going to be very hectic. It does hectic. It is hectic. Uh, I don't say that it's only fun, but you get time for everything, I believe. It's, it's all about time management and again you've got a leadership class on that. So that tells you how to uh, efficiently manage your time and balance your uh, you know, education and social life. Mm. So Rajan, you've come over with your family and Chloe, you're living on campus, aren't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. So can you both tell me how, how you're finding it, where you're living, for example, Rajan with your family and, and Chloe, what it's like to live on campus? as a, an MBA student? Yes, actually, in campus, to me, it's very naturally. Um, for MBA students, the, the class is intensive and you create a lot. So during that time, I, I think that I'm uh, working in the library. It's very natural to make friends because when you sit there, probably got something you don't know, that guy or that girl is next to you. You just have to know each other because uh, for a long time, you two sitting there just say hi. After that, uh, what your study? Uh, I study law. I study MBA. So you got something to in common to chat. So you know friends, and also making friends. I think so. Uh, living campus also uh, when you to join some event, join some uh, seminar, join some conference. You met different uh, students from different course, and you share your idea. You share the experience. That's very easily and naturally to make friends in the campus. And uh, for me, as a Chinese student, and, uh, and study the MBA, actually the age is much, not much. It's a little bit, uh, uh, I mean, older, not older than the bachelor <laughs> and master students. So uh, when we meet each other, they, um, some Chinese probably got some problem to ask you. So you just like the very nice, a uh, bigger sister to teach them how to um, uh, how to make the life easier, how to make study life easier, how to uh, overcome the difficult. So it's a lot of different way to make friends. I think I enjoy to um, making friends here, to living campus, join different events, join different seminar, conference with different people to to enlarge my working experience. Uh, by coming along with family, that was uh, one of the concerns I always had, so I have to be a little more cautious. So I'm having a kid who is three and a half years old also. 
So, no, yeah, uh, I got the required support from Brunel. Uh, obviously, I, I could not stay on campus, which I felt it should have been, it would have been much more fun, as Chloe said, so I could see her uh, really popular around the university. <laughs> but uh, staying off campus, uh, it's equally fun. Uh, so Bruna helped me with initial accommodation arrangements uh, for putting me in the uh, lodges and everything else, and also put me in touch with the uh, off-campus accommodation office who further supported me to find the place around uh, Bruna. I'm, I'm staying pretty close to Brunel and it's a very uh, good area. It has a lot of local shops uh, close to uh, it's close to public transport and all and even I got a good nursery for my kid. So he's enjoying uh, his social life over there. And there are a lot of events uh, that are organized by councils over here for your families. And even Brunel runs a family club so you got an opportunity to meet other uh, parents and uh, at the same time have fun and socialize with them. So yeah, it, it, it has got everything for everyone. So if you are a family guy, don't feel uh, out being in this environment. Okay, thanks. And um, Chloe, you, um, you went on the international business trip to yeah. India. I take it, Raj, and you decided not to go to that one because you, you're from India and you've got your family to think of and your children. But Chloe, how did you find um, the uh, India trip, um, how did you get selected onto that and, and what did you do when you were out there? Yes, uh, I think I'm not very lucky to get this Indian trip chance because I want you know, all the so about all of them smart and um, very talented. Um, we got the, we are after the test actually, kind of the logic kind of test. Uh, so there's five students to be selected to go to the Indian trip. And I enjoyed this Indian trip because for me, uh, I, I, I was planning to for Indian, uh, not business trip, on the trip because I'm curious about uh, what happened in, in India. You can read the news, uh, every day you read the news, uh, uh, talk about India, the market, the large market, the booming market, the people there, the, uh, the change, the economic change there. So. I'm looking forward to, to travel to India. After I heard that, I got the chance. The whole night I didn't sleep. I think too excited. So, <laughs> so we went to there. We, we went to different companies. Uh, that's uh, gave me a lot of the. Actually, that's impressed me a lot because the the company we went is the pharmaceutical uh, uh, company Novartis. It's quite famous, no matter uh, India or here or China. And also, we went to the Merrill Lynch, that American bank. You can see the people there, the very professional when they talk about the economic issue, when they talk about how to investment, and when they talk about the estimate the economic trends. We learned a lot of things from them. And also, we are went to the McDonald Indian. Mm, that's very, very strange, not strange, we cannot use this word to describe, because in India, I don't know that people there, is, they don't eat pork, right, Roger? So, I think I'm right, yeah, <laughs> they don't eat pork, <laughs> yes. Uh, so the menu in McDonald's is totally different from the UK and uh, China. And they also to show the process, show the process, how to, how to, to serve the clients. And this is very related to our course, the uh, supply chain and strategic and marketing. So we just put the theory in the real life, in the business. We connect that so very, very naturally to know the, how the theory to guide the business. So that's given me a lot of the, I, I think I gain a lot from the business trip. And this year I heard that the business trip probably went to Turkey. Roger, you got chance, I think. Yes, yeah. not so India. Yes, Turkey. Also, no, I would, have, I would have loved going back to India as a student, but I, I just recently came. It was in February or March. And this trip was all right, so mm -hmm. I just was settling into UK. Mm -hmm. And but I'm really looking forward to go on a trip like this um, next January when it would be organised. Mm -hmm. It's it's really fun, I guess. Okay. Do you, you get to see um, the companies? You get to go on company visits in the UK? Do you? 
Yeah, we have a lot of, we have been to Bloomberg, uh, there have been trips to Jaguar, Coca-Cola is coming up on 28th tomorrow, I guess. Yeah. So there, there are a lot of uh, trips being organized with the new key also. Yes, awesome. For the aviation uh, type major, we also had a chance to connect with uh, Hasro, different uh, air company, and Hasro, uh, Hasro uh, how do you say it? Airport. Airport, yes. We traveled there and talked with them. I think um, that's also good experience for the uh, study, who study the uh, aviation less module. Okay. Um, one of the questions that we've got from our viewers is about the business projects. Um, Chloe, I presume you'll probably started your business project, but Rajan, you'll have yours later on in the year. Yeah. Um, Chloe, have you, have you got uh, an idea of you actually started yours? What's it about? Can you mean the dissertation? The dissertation, yeah, business yeah, project dissertation. dissertation uh, I'm quite interested in the risk management, so when I to start my MBA course, I focus on the supply chain, international business, um, after the all the module, the seven modules and other workshop, I start to think about my dissertation. <clears throat> I choose the topic about risk management uh, related to the catastrophe fund. This is a kind of financial industry uh, product because when I come here, UK is uh, very famous for the financial market and also American as well. Mm, I found there's some gap in this. Uh, risk bonds because China don't have the launch in this risk bond so I try to find why uh, Chinese uh, governments didn't to put this bond to to allow some news so this is my dissertation uh, dissertation uh, topic yes um, mm -hmm. this time I guess Bernard has changed a bit so even we got an opportunity to select our idea of uh, early uh, so this is something uh, everyone who are coming in September should take care of that you should have initial ideas on what you are going to do your business project uh, and uh, Brian supports you uh, in this journey also I would see it's a long journey it's uh, one it, because you carry on with your business project throughout your year and there are many workshops that's being organized uh, by Brunel Business School to help you writing dissertations how to ref, uh, do referencing and different aspects of it. Uh, being a research-oriented university, so a lot of focus is on research, and, which is good in fact. So I learned a lot of tools, even though being from IT background, that particularly being used into research areas. Uh, my dissertation is into small and medium enterprises, uh, scientific industry in India. So looking at their challenges and how to build a roadmap for them actually to go international. Okay, and we're, we're going to have to come to an end shortly in a few minutes, so before we do, um, I just wanted to ask you to, I've heard that you've um, recently set up a business together alongside another MBA student, um, I'm not sure how you found the time when you've got all your coursework and exams, you've just finished your exams recently, um, so could you tell us a little bit about your business, um, how you came about with the idea and what it is? Yeah. It, 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 it came, uh, that's, that's the beauty of MBA, I guess. You got a lot of people from different backgrounds. So we started with one of our fellow MBA students, Paul. Uh, he particularly worked into uh, retail estate over here. So one fine day he just said that he has an idea and probably we can you know, look further into it. And that's how it started. And luckily, uh, we came across one of the programs being run by Brunel called Venture. Uh, where they support uh, business ideas and then room with uh, required advice and everything. So yeah, this is it um, and uh, we call our business Starsky and Hush and uh, it is particularly an uh, innovative platform that we would be offering to our users and uh, it would help them uh, throughout their journey of finding rental accommodation and even once they are living in their rented accommodation uh, because of a lot of differences uh, how UK operates rental market, they need a lot of services around. So this would help them throughout their journey when they are finding their rental accommodation and once they are actually living in their rental accommodation. And we got a very good response uh, within university. So as you said, we started it around our exams time. 
still managed to work in nights to you know and we already have done a pre-launch and got good response with over more than 2,000 people signing up within two weeks. Yeah. As in for our business, and our long history got very, very big passion to do that, even the cost for in the examination common point. But we still to, to try to squeeze some funds to do our business because we know that's a good idea and we would like to put much energy on this business. Uh, we trust each other, we share some idea, we share some appearance, we help each other to venture our own business. And I enjoy, even it's difficult, but I still enjoy it. Mm. Okay, right, well then um, I've got uh, one more last question for you both and then we'll have to finish um, this morning's webinar. So is there um, anything in particular that you would recommend to um, prospective students in, um, in particular about Brunel or um, any advice that you can give them before they start their MBA degree? Uh, for me, it, it is about you, so you should be clear on your preferences for what you are going to do MBA. Uh, I would say Brunel and every other school has you know, something to offer and they differentiate on different terms. So it, it all depends upon your priorities, what you are looking for. And uh, that, that's the way forward. But yes, do come prepared that uh, it's a journey, so you might, you know, have some surprises around. So yeah, it, it, it is fun, I believe. And uh, Brunel is a good place. So uh, it's a one large university. So you, you get support from different departments. And if you're living on campus, then it, it, it is really going to be a wonderful experience, I would say. Yes, our group with Rogers. Before you come here to go study, you probably need to figure out what you want after you graduate from the MBA. And also, one thing I think for uh, students who want to, to study MBA that just try your best and to, to get more. And no matter what kind of appearance, talk more, talk with different people to know what you are ready to expect in the future and decide what uh, what you are ready to expect to your target. So mm, never to stop because MBA is kind of, even you think the study in union probably to a little bit stop for your career, but never stop to gain more, to win more. Yes. Okay, well thank you. Um, Chloe and thank you Rajan. So we've come to the end of today's um, MBA webinar um, we hope you found the uh, guest speaker's talk uh, useful and informative and have enjoyed the session. So I'd like to just thank both Chloe and Rajan again um, for giving up their time. I think you've got some MBA sessions to go to after this webinar. Um, and uh, so I'd just like to say to anyone who's uh, still listening that you can contact myself or one of my colleagues on the Brunel MBA email address which is brunelmba at brunel.ac.uk or you can telephone me on 01895265910 or you can also follow us and connect with us on any of our social media sites and um, watch any of our other webinars that we have on YouTube and um, join part of our family on Facebook. I remember Rajan saying something along those lines before he joined us um, in January and saying that he was looking forward to joining the Brunel Business School family and that he already felt like a part of it. So, yeah, um, pretty much. So, okay. Yep, thank, you thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Okay.